Hi Taurus, this is your Twin Flame reading for October. Hope you're doing well. I'm just staging your cards, clearing our space. If you can take a deep inhale. Exhale, breathing in the breath of God, inhaling again. Releasing any stress, any anxiety. Inhaling again. Feeling that tingle from your crown chakra as we are creating your sacred space, calling in on the angelic realm. Setting your intention for any messages, clearings, healings on your behalf. And welcome back. All right, what do we have for Taurus angels? Messages for Taurus for their twin flame journey for October. And happy sweetest day. All right, thank you, angels. So for some of you, you're really missing the friendship. I feel that your person is missing you. They're feeling very nostalgic. They are thinking of you, thinking of how they first met you. For some of you, it is going to be a new love. So for some of you, your person right now is not ready. Um, they will come forward when they are ready to offer their self-love cup, when they're ready to offer new love. I feel that there was a missed opportunity in the past, and your person is currently working on themselves to open up their heart chakra, and they are on their spiritual awakening journey as well. This is a past life connection. You have been here before on this journey with this person, and I feel that your person is really, they're opening up their eyes to this union. You or your person has really thrown themselves into work. I feel that you're both mirroring each other. It could have been that your person, when they first met you, they chose to work or they may be, I'm hearing like a workaholic. So your angels are asking you not to take that personal that is part of their journey. You have your journey and they have their journey as well. Guidance now for Taurus, please. Romance Angels, two cards for Taurus. So maybe you're the one who really works or finances or career is really affecting this. I feel that you are really one who is a workaholic as well and you decided to really throw yourself into work. I feel that for some of you, you may be spiritual and you may be stepping into a place of union. Union within yourself. Like you're you're trying to go into sacred union and you're working on your spiritual journey. For some of you and maybe for you divine feminine, usually divine feminines are watching this, but it's not gender specific. You are retreated. You have turned inward to really work on yourself. And I feel for some of you, you have your back to this union. What is going on for Taurus's twin flame angels? Thank you, angels. So this person may have only offered um, or have been very emotional with their love because um, this is unrecorded love. So one person loved more than the other person. And I feel that... Um, you love them more. It was more one-sided. And now I feel that roles are getting reversed. Um, your person is going to be coming back to you. And your angels are saying, take your time in getting to know. And I feel the Divine Masculine is going to come back a little bit not so guarded. Because the sword is down. Um, I'm hearing for some, this person is going to come back with an apology. And you're just... Divine Feminine, you're going to be like, well, I don't know. I've kind of moved on. I'm really busy with work. So a, your angels are asking you to kind of like open your heart and um, allow this person to come in. You're really going to have to trust your intuition to be ready to see if this person is ready to come back. So let go of control issues. And this is on the sacred space. So one or both of you might be trying to control the outcome, control the expectations. 
as to how they return and you're both currently working on trust issues. So I feel that both of you in the past, you've had some relationships where trust has been a real, like trust has been broken. So I feel your person made some, some promises they couldn't keep and it's now left you both with trust issues. Thank you, angels. All right, what else do we have for Taurus? Thank you, angels. I have a little bit of my head, so my, I'm feeling pressure in my head. So for some of you, you may be too much in your head space about this union. Thank you, angels. You are the high priestess. So you are divine feminine. You are one who is extremely intuitive. I feel that you're working on your own foundation. You do have a lot of passion, a lot of love for your person, but you're kind of keeping it under the wraps right now. You're focused on, some of you are moving, some of you are focused on work. Your person is coming from a place of equality, and part of their defense mechanism is pushing people away. I feel that they're gaining strength. They're awakening from a hibernation. So some of them have been retreated. They've gone inward to work on themselves. Um, I feel like they've been a little distant, a little cold towards you, Divine Feminine. So they're having to now figure out a plan as to how they're going to come forward and offer an apology. Guidance on the Union Angels, please. Healing and recovery and um, sharp and insertive. So you're both currently working on healing yourselves and healing this union. You're both cutting out where in the past you've had people that really didn't serve your higher self. And I feel that some of you, you've actually had to learn lessons of who really deserved your love and who deserved your attention. Because in the past you have had issues with boundaries is what I'm hearing. For both, for both of you. Any other guidance? How is Taurus feeling in their headspace about their person? How are they feeling in their headspace? Thank you, angels. So you're going through an activation, and you're currently waiting for communication from your person. I feel that you're going through like where you might have felt <clears throat> a stalemate, and my throat chakra is getting really black, so... <clears throat> for some of you, you're unable to speak your truth. Um, I feel that you're holding back a lot of emotion, and I'm feeling like just a lot of pressure in my crown chakra and in my throat chakra. Guidance now on Taurus's person. Thank you, angels. So they are currently at a stalemate, trying to make a choice on how to come back. Um... They are opening up, they're working on their heart chakra, getting a new perspective on love. They do really fantasize about you. They dream about you. Okay, let's see about the sacred union. Thank you, angels. And we are receiving self-sabotaging and transition. So the death card is usually that something needs to end for something to move forward. So you're both completing a very important cycle. Um... I feel that the both of you aren't sleeping and you're self-sabotaging because it's in the sacred space. So something needs to end for a new beginning to come forward. And we are in the new moon in Libra. So Libra is all about new beginnings. So your angels are asking you to come from a place of strength and be very nurturing to yourself. I feel that you've actually, you've been through the ringer. You've been through a lot, like you almost... Almost like you've been through battle. You've had a lot of trials and tribulations going round and round in your headspace, and you're exhausted. And I feel that you and your person are mirroring this. Thank you, angels. Trials and tribulations. Your person is really trying to move away from the trials and tribulations to offer you a passionate adventure. And they're stepping into their divine masculine energy. So they are coming... Your person may be a little stubborn at times. Um, I feel that he's come back to you or tried to come back to you. Um, and it didn't work out. But he's 
coming like back and forth and back and forth. And he's currently trying to just work on himself because he's realizing it's not just missing you. It's working on himself to come back as a better person. So what I'm hearing is Divine Feminine, you actually make him, make them want to be a better person. Um, your angels are guiding you. It's very sto sto steady progress. And there's a need for you to get out of your headspace. So in the sacred space, you both are feeling that you're imprisoned, that you're stuck. And no wonder my <clears> throat chakra is bothering me. This chain is literally around her throat, and it's really like um, blocking the throat chakra. So I feel that you both, when you both do come back into union, you're going to have to speak the truth. All right, and at the bottom of the deck, it is a wish fulfillment. All right, let's see now what Archangel Michael has guidance, please. <clears throat> yeah, I think this is a beautiful, has the potential of being a beautiful outcome. Guidance for Taurus, please, angels. Archangel Michael, write about your thoughts and feelings. So Divine Feminine, you're being asked then to journal about how you're feeling because I feel like you're keeping it all. That's probably why my throat chakra is a little <clears throat> blocked right now. So you're, you're, Archangel Michael is asking you to write down your feelings. Um, allow it to surface by writing it, uh, journaling about it. Um, the masculine is getting your home is protected by angels. So they may be struggling with family life, with their kids, they may be struggling to make ends meet, like with finances, really. I feel that some of them aren't working right now. And then Archangel Michael guidance for the union. So Archangel Michael is saying, focus upon divine and perfect health. So some of you have been so stressed with this union or stressed with work, family life, that it may be affecting your health. Archangel Michael is asking you to focus on divine healing. Your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. So this union is also helping open up your spiritual journey and open up your spiritual gifts. Can we get some charms for Taurus? I love my charms. So you're getting uh, rose quartz. So you need to open up your heart chakra and bring in more priests. Thank you, angels. And bring in more peace. Here's a peace sign. Um, and this, your twin flame journey will be blossoming like this flower. And I feel, I'm, I'm hearing uh, abundance is going to be blossoming for you as well. You're getting Ganesh. So Ganesh is the remover of obstacles. So your angels and your guides are working behind the scenes to get this journey, this twin flame journey moving forward. And butterflies. So I feel that you're both on your spiritual awakening journey. You're having a transformation from the cocoon caterpillar to the butterfly. So usually that um, is a very strong indication of 14 days that it usually takes for that to happen. So that's all I have for you, Taurus. If you feel this resonated with you, please like and subscribe. And I'm sending you much love and light. Namaste. Many blessings. Bye.